Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video from our channel, Who Died Today America? In this video, we'll be highlighting American celebrities who have passed away in the last few days, along with other notable figures from around the world. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Now let's begin. Georgina Cooper, who passed away at the age of 46, was a radiant figure in the world of fashion and an unforgettable presence in the lives of those who knew her. Known to friends as George, she was one of the faces of the iconic 1990s Cool Britannia movement, a symbol of effortless beauty and unique style. Her gap-toothed smile and bold presence on the catwalk made her an unforgettable muse for designers and photographers, including the legendary Corinne Day. Georgina's spirit and energy were loved by all, and her loss is deeply felt by friends, family, and the fashion community. Georgina's journey into the world of fashion began at the young age of 13 when she entered the Elite Look of the Year contest, and she quickly rose to prominence. She graced the covers of Vogue the Face and worked with renowned brands like Alexander McQueen, Burberry, and Stella McCartney. Her vibrant personality and grounded nature made her a favorite backstage and a cherished friend to many, including fellow model and close friend Kate Moss. Beyond the glitz of the runway, Georgina was a devoted mother to her son Sonny. Her decision to step back from modeling to focus on raising him reflected her values and dedication to family. Describing herself as a South London girl who loved to travel, she embraced each chapter of her life with humility and joy. Despite her international fame, Georgina never lost touch with her roots or her sense of humor, always exuding warmth and a touch of gentle mischief, as her friend Erin O'Connor lovingly recalled. Recently married, Georgina was enjoying a new chapter, filled with hope and plans for the future, when her life was tragically cut short. Her sudden passing has left family, friends, and fans heartbroken. Her kindness, humor, and generous spirit were a light to those around her, and she will be remembered as much for her character as for her contributions to fashion. As tributes pour in from friends and colleagues, Georgina's legacy is clear. She was a ray of light, as fellow model Jade Parfit described a vibrant soul who brought laughter, beauty, and authenticity into the world. Her journey, though short, was filled with achievements and memories that will continue to inspire. Rest in peace, Georgina. Your light will never be forgotten. Elwood Edwards, who passed away at the age of 74 on November 5th, was a voice actor whose iconic words helped shape the early internet experience for millions. As the voice of America Online, Elwood became a memorable part of many people's online journey, welcoming them with his iconic welcome and notifying them with the friendly, you've got mail. Recorded in his living room in 1989, these simple greetings became a comforting, recognizable sound for AOL users everywhere and are forever etched in the history of the digital age. Edwards began his career in radio and television working both on-air and behind the scenes. Known for his warm, calm tone, he was the ideal voice to introduce people to the budding online world. His journey into becoming the voice of AOL came through a chance recommendation from his wife, Karen, who heard AOL's CEO at the time, Steve Case, express his desire for a friendly human touch to the online experience. For a modest fee, Elwood recorded what would become some of the most famous phrases in internet history. From you've got pictures to goodbye, his voice became synonymous with the online world and a reminder of the wonder of those early days of the web. Though he continued working in television for many years and even drove for Uber after retiring from WKYC in Cleveland, Elwood remained humble and amused by his internet fame. He made light-hearted appearances on The Simpsons and The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon, reminding fans of the voice that greeted them for years. In recent years, he even voiced new catchphrases for modern platforms like Shopify, 
showing his playful willingness to continue bringing that warmth to a new generation. In his later years, Elwood lived in New Bern, North Carolina, with his wife Karen. Together, they shared a quiet life, and he enjoyed engaging with fans and the nostalgic appreciation of his work. Edward's gentle, reassuring voice left a legacy that spans decades, capturing the early days of the digital revolution. To his family, friends, and countless fans, Elwood was more than just a voice actor. He was the voice of an era, bringing warmth and familiarity to a world that was rapidly changing. His legacy will live on in the hearts of millions who first discovered the magic of the internet with his welcoming words. Tom Jeriel, who passed away at the age of 89, was a prominent and respected figure in American broadcast journalism. Known for his investigative prowess and commitment to the truth, Jerry L's career spanned nearly four decades, primarily with ABC News, where he became a trusted voice for millions across the nation. Born in LaGrange, Georgia in 1934 and raised in Shreveport, Louisiana, Jerry L graduated from the University of Houston and began his career at KPRC-TV in Houston before joining ABC in the 1960s. From the very beginning, he displayed a dedication to journalism that would define his entire career. As ABC's White House correspondent, Jerry L. reported on the presidencies of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, a period marked by intense political change. His work in Washington, D.C., established him as a voice of reason and integrity during turbulent times. In 1979, Jerry L. transitioned to the popular news magazine show, 2020, where he took on the role of investigative correspondent. His reports exposed flaws in the American criminal justice system, shed light on wasteful defense spending, and uncovered safety lapses in transportation, contributing to meaningful discussions and sometimes real change in public policy. His commitment to detailed, fact-based storytelling earned him 10 Emmy Awards throughout his career, a testament to his influence and credibility in the industry. Jerry L's calm, assured presence also became familiar through his late-night weekend updates and frequent appearances as a substitute anchor on World News Tonight. Even after retiring in 2002, his dedication to journalism brought him briefly back to the screen to help cover the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003, underscoring his lifelong commitment to informing the public during critical moments. Tom Jeriel's dedication to truth, his sharp investigative instincts, and his respect for journalistic integrity made him a role model for both viewers and colleagues. He leaves behind a legacy of meaningful contributions to American journalism and a lifetime of commitment to the values of honesty and transparency in reporting. He is survived by his beloved wife, Joan, with whom he shared over 65 years of marriage and their three children. To his family, friends, and countless viewers, Jeriel was more than a reporter. He was a trusted friend who brought the world into focus with clarity and grace. His legacy will endure as a reminder of journalism's power to reveal, inform, and inspire change. Sarah Dancer, who passed away at the age of 34, was a vibrant soul with a zest for adventure and a heart full of passion. Known to many as a star on Naked and Afraid, Sarah inspired viewers and friends alike with her fierce spirit and boundless enthusiasm for life. A survivor, a leader, and a modern-day pirate, she had an undeniable spark that brought joy and energy wherever she went. Originally from Castle Rock, Colorado, Sarah had called Hawaii her home for over a decade, embodying the spirit of island life with her love for the ocean and exploration. She worked as a boat captain and a scuba diver for Island Divers Hawaii, where her energy left an indelible mark. Known for her warmth and adventurous heart, Sarah's colleagues remembered her as a great captain who brought such great energy to everyone she came in contact with. Her adventurous spirit carried her through her time on Naked and Afraid, where she formed close bonds with her fellow survivalists. Her co-star, Melissa Lauren, fondly recalled Sarah as one of the most adventurous souls she had ever met. Together, they braved the wilds of South Africa 
and Sarah's resilient, positive attitude served as a beacon of inspiration for those around her. Sarah had also faced and overcome the challenge of breast cancer, meeting it with courage and maintaining her optimism through it all. Living part-time on a boat in Kowalo Basin, Sarah embraced the freedom to travel, connecting deeply with the ocean and the natural world she adored. She often described herself as a pirate, and indeed, she lived a life of bold exploration, seeing the world through a lens of wonder and awe. Her Instagram was filled with glimpses of her oceanic adventures, her unfiltered joy captured in moments spent navigating the Hawaiian waters she loved. Her brother Jake poignantly summed up Sarah's essence by describing her as magical and noting how her energy transformed every space she entered. To those who knew her, she was much more than a reality TV star. She was a friend, a sister, and a beacon of positivity and light. As Sarah's loved ones, colleagues, and naked and afraid fans reflect on her life, her legacy of resilience, wonder, and adventure will continue to inspire. Sarah Dancer lived life with an open heart and a boundless spirit. And though her journey was tragically cut short, her impact will be felt by all who had the privilege of knowing her. Rest easy, Sarah. May your spirit continue to explore the great unknown. Mitzi Gaynor, who passed away at the age of 93, leaves behind a legacy as one of the last great stars of Hollywood's Golden Age musicals. Known for her infectious energy, remarkable talent, and iconic performances, Gaynor enchanted audiences worldwide through film, television, and stage, her career spanning over seven decades. Born Francesca Marlene Deciani von Gerber in Chicago, Gaynor began her journey in entertainment at a young age, training as a ballerina before signing a contract with 20th Century Fox at just 17. Her name became synonymous with Hollywood glitz, especially after her unforgettable role as Ensign Nellie Forbush in South Pacific, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination and cemented her place in film history. Audiences cherished her vivacious performances in classics like There's No Business, Like Show Business and The Birds and the Bees, where she showcased her ability to blend comedic charm with genuine artistry. Beyond her film roles, Gaynor dazzled in her later career as a live performer, developing a reputation as a true showstopper. She performed in nightclubs and concert venues across the U.S. and Canada, even gracing the Las Vegas stage, where her electrifying shows became legendary. In the 1960s and 70s, Gaynor turned to television, starring in nine highly acclaimed specials that earned her a staggering 16 Emmy nominations, a testament to her wide-ranging appeal and exceptional showmanship. Gaynor's personal life was as steady as her career was dynamic. She shared a 52-year marriage with her husband and manager, Jack Bean, until his passing in 2006. Their enduring partnership was one built on love, support, and a shared commitment to her career, which Jack managed with the same precision and care as Mitzi brought to her performances. Though they did not have children, Gaynor left an indelible mark on her fans and the entertainment industry. In recognition of her contributions, Gaynor was honored with numerous awards, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the 2009 Boston Youth Moves Lifetime Achievement Award, and an induction into the Great American Songbook Hall of Fame in 2017. Each accolade reflected her profound influence on American popular culture and the joy she brought to her audience. As we remember Mitzi Gaynor, we celebrate a woman whose life sparkled with talent, resilience, and unwavering dedication. Her legacy will live on in the timeless joy of her performances and the inspiration she provided for future generations of entertainers. John LaSalle, who passed away at the age of 95, was a distinguished American actor celebrated for his extensive work in both film and television. Known for his compelling portrayal of parapsychologist Dr. Peter Guthrie on the beloved soap opera Dark Shadows, LaSalle's career spanned multiple decades and demonstrated his incredible versatility as an actor. 
Born in Williamstown, Vermont on November 6, 1928, LaSalle ventured into television in 1960, beginning his career on the anthology series Armstrong Circle Theater. This debut marked the start of a prolific career in television, leading him to memorable roles across various genres, from westerns to dramas and even science fiction. LaSalle appeared on iconic shows like Gunsmoke, The Twilight Zone, Wagon Train, and Rawhide, leaving a lasting impression with each guest role. His range and dedication to his craft shone through as he took on diverse characters, including his performance as John Wilkes Booth in the Twilight Zone episode, Back There, which showcased his ability to bring depth to historical and complex figures. LaSalle's work on Lassie and Dan August further solidified his place in television, where he became known for his grounded, authentic performances that resonated with audiences. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, he continued to guest star on a wide array of popular shows, including Perry Mason, Adam 12, The Streets of San Francisco, and Mannix, demonstrating his adaptability and enduring appeal in the ever-evolving landscape of television. In addition to his television roles, LaSalle took on a variety of film projects. Although his heart seemed to belong to television, where he found a continuous stream of challenging roles and audiences eager for his performances. His final television credit on the soap opera Falcon Crest brought his career full circle, marking the end of an era in which he contributed richly to the television landscape of his time. John LaSalle's presence on screen, whether in a single episode or a recurring role, was marked by a quiet intensity and an unmistakable authenticity. Known for his professionalism and dedication, he left an indelible mark on American television history. His work continues to be appreciated by fans of classic television, and his legacy as a talented and dedicated actor remains influential. He will be remembered for his nuanced performances, which brought both depth and humanity to every role he took on. Cat Glover, who passed away at the age of 62, was a dynamic American choreographer, dancer, singer, and rapper whose vibrant presence left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Known for her innovative dance moves and unmatched energy, Glover gained fame through her close collaboration with Prince in the late 1980s, a partnership that elevated her to international acclaim and showcased her extraordinary talents. Born in Chicago's North Lawndale neighborhood on July 24, 1962, Cat began performing at just five years old as part of a group called the Soulettes, which she formed with her three sisters. Her early years performing in Chicago set the stage for a career defined by ambition and originality. A breakthrough moment came on Star Search, where she and her dance partner, Patrick Allen, wowed audiences as the duo Pat and Cat, achieving the show's first ever perfect score. This milestone introduced the world to Glover's charismatic personality and her signature dance style, known as the Cat Scat. Cat's career reached new heights when she joined Prince's entourage, working as a dancer, choreographer, and even a rapper. She appeared in his Sign of the Times concert film, toured as a backing vocalist and dancer on the Sign of the Times and Love Sexy tours, and lent her unique voice to tracks like Cindy C on the Black Album and Alphabet Saint on Love Sexy. Prince recognized her unmatched energy and flair, and together they crafted performances that were as theatrical as they were groundbreaking. Although she was set to release her own album on Prince's Paisley Park label, the project was ultimately canceled, a missed opportunity that fans still remember. Despite the challenges in the music industry, Cat continued to pursue her passion, recording her own music and collaborating with artists like Tim Simenon of Bomb the Bass and others in London and Los Angeles. In 1989, she released the EP Catwoman, a bold foray into the world of hip-hop and dance music that further demonstrated her versatility. Outside her career, Cat was a devoted mother to four children, balancing her professional and personal lives with strength and grace. Her unexpected passing at her home in Los Angeles 
has left her family, friends, and fans in mourning, but her legacy endures in her groundbreaking work, her spirit of fearless creativity, and her unforgettable performances. Cat Glover will be remembered as a vibrant force in music and dance, a true original who brought energy, passion, and joy to every stage she graced. Joe Flaherty, who passed away at the age of 82, was an influential American actor, comedian, and writer. Known for his unique comedic style, Joe's impact on the world of comedy, especially through his work on SCTV, has been profound and enduring. His characters like the unforgettable Count Floyd, Guy Caballero, and Harold Weir became emblematic of his humor, sharp, slightly surreal, and full of heart. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Joe's journey began as a young comic at Second City Theater in Chicago. He quickly found his place among comedic giants and helped bring laughter and joy to audiences with his wit and ability to deliver humor that was both absurd and relatable. His move to Canada to help establish Toronto's Second City troupe marked the beginning of a legacy as he became a founding member of SCTV. On SCTV, Joe's talent shone brightly in a variety of roles that showcased his range and creativity, making him a fan favorite. His portrayal of Count Floyd, with his signature howl and campy horror vibe, brought an unforgettable twist to comedy, while Guy Caballero, the wheelchair-bound yet crafty station manager, became a beloved icon. Joe's career spanned decades, and he became known to new generations through appearances in cult classics like Happy Gilmore, where he hilariously heckled Adam Sandler and Back to the Future Part II, delivering Doc Brown's letter with a memorable touch. In the late 90s, he played Harold Weir on the cult series Freaks and Geeks, embodying a father figure who was both loving and slightly bewildered by his teenage kids. This role showcased Joe's depth as an actor, as he brought warmth and realism to a character that resonated with families everywhere. Beyond his performances, Joe was dedicated to nurturing talent. As an artist in residence at Toronto's Humber College, he shared his wealth of knowledge with young comedians, inspiring them to craft their own comedic voices. Joe's warmth, mentorship, and the joy he brought to his work left an impact on everyone fortunate enough to learn from him. Joe Flaherty's legacy is one of laughter, creativity, and kindness. He leaves behind a lasting mark on comedy, and his contributions will be remembered and cherished by his fans, students, and colleagues. A true comedy legend, he will be missed, but his spirit and humor will live on in the countless moments he created for audiences to enjoy. Rest in peace, Joe. You made the world a brighter, funnier place. Richard Lewis, who passed away at the age of 76, left an indelible mark on the world of comedy and beyond. Known for his dark, neurotic humor and his brilliantly self-deprecating wit, Lewis captivated audiences from the 1980s onward, bearing his deepest fears, struggles, and quirks with a raw honesty that endeared him to countless fans. His brand of humor was relatable, vulnerable, and bold. He shared himself openly and invited laughter not just at life's absurdities, but at his own. Born and raised in Brooklyn, Richard's comedic journey began as a young, class clown type, finding his voice in Greenwich Village's open mic scene while working as a copywriter. With the encouragement of legendary comedian David Brenner, Lewis was soon gracing major stages and TV talk shows, making his mark alongside comedy's greats. His comedic idols, including Pryor and Allen, helped inspire a style uniquely his own, one that combined rapid-fire pacing, dark humor, and a signature all-black wardrobe, embodying his internal struggles with everything from anxiety to addiction. In addition to his comedy, Lewis was a beloved television presence. He starred in the ABC sitcom Anything But Love, alongside Jamie Lee Curtis, and is remembered fondly for his roles in Robin Hood, Men in Tights, and the cult favorite Drunks. But perhaps his most iconic role was his recurring appearance on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm, where he portrayed a semi-fictionalized version of himself. 
His friendship with Larry David began in childhood, and their on-screen banter brought genuine warmth and humor to each scene as they wove their real-life camaraderie into television magic. Throughout his life, Lewis faced personal challenges with bravery and openness. He was candid about his struggles with addiction and mental health, transforming his pain into humor and helping many through his own vulnerability. His memoir, The Other Great Depression, further shared his journey and revealed the inner strength behind the jokes. Richard Lewis was more than just a comedian. He was a storyteller who taught us all to laugh through our own difficulties and to confront life's challenges with resilience and authenticity. His legacy will live on in the laughs he brought to millions and in the hearts of those he touched. Lewis's humor and spirit will be sorely missed, but he leaves behind a lasting imprint on comedy and a reminder that even in our darkest moments, there is a light and often a laugh to be found. Rest in peace, Richard. Thank you for sharing your life and humor with us all. Hinton Battle, who passed away at the age of 67, was a true multi-talented artist, a dancer, singer, choreographer, and actor whose contributions to theater and film left an indelible impact. Known for his unmatched energy, grace, and charisma, Battle lit up stages and screens with his dynamic performances. Over his career, he earned three Tony Awards, a feat that speaks to his extraordinary talent and dedication to his craft. Born to a military family and raised in Washington, D.C., Hinton's journey in the performing arts began early, training at the prestigious School of American Ballet under the renowned George Balanchine. By the age of 15, his remarkable talent set him on a path that would lead him to the Broadway stage, where he made his debut as the Scarecrow in The Wiz. His portrayal of the lovable, lively character in the iconic musical left a lasting impression on audiences and marked the beginning of a spectacular career in musical theater. Throughout his career, Battle became known for his versatility, starring in musicals such as Dreamgirls, Sophisticated Ladies, The Tap Dance Kid, and Miss Saigon. Each role demonstrated his exceptional range, allowing him to shine as both a performer and a choreographer. His work in Miss Saigon, where he delivered a powerful rendition of Buidoy, earned him his third Tony Award, solidifying his status as one of Broadway's most esteemed actors. His choreography, which blended classical styles with modern flair, brought a fresh energy to each production he touched, even extending into television, where he choreographed the memorable musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Beyond the spotlight, Hinton's impact was equally profound. He shared his knowledge and passion with students and aspiring dancers, founding the Hinton Battle Dance Academy in Japan, which nurtured new generations of performers. His legacy extended further with his one-man show Shine, various television appearances, and a pioneering dance style, Swap, which combined swing and hip-hop and was showcased on Dancing with the Stars. Hinton's vibrant energy and groundbreaking contributions to the arts will be remembered fondly. The tradition of dimming Broadway lights in his honor reflects the deep respect and admiration he garnered over decades. His spirit, talent, and influence will continue to inspire, reminding us of the power of dance, music, and storytelling to uplift and connect us all. Hinton Battle's remarkable legacy will be cherished, and his contributions to the world of performing arts will never be forgotten. Breaking news of the day, News 1. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the iconic actor and former California governor, has revealed a new chapter in his journey of resilience, the recent installation of a pacemaker. At 77, Schwarzenegger shared this update with his trademark humor on his podcast, Arnold's Pump Club, joking, I had surgery for a pacemaker and became a little bit more of a machine, nodding to his famous role in Terminator. This isn't Schwarzenegger's first experience with heart surgery. He has faced multiple health challenges related to a congenital heart defect since the late 1990s. 
Despite these hurdles, he remains proactive about his health, expressing gratitude for modern medical technology. The pacemaker surgery, performed smoothly, allowed Schwarzenegger to leave the hospital the same day. This device will help maintain his heart's rhythm by delivering essential electrical impulses. By sharing his health journey, Schwarzenegger hopes to reduce the stigma around such discussions and encourage others to take their health seriously. His story showcases not only his unyielding spirit, but also the importance of staying informed and proactive about one's medical care. News 2. Jax Taylor, well-known reality star from Vanderpump Rules, has taken a major step towards better mental health, recently checking into an inpatient facility, as confirmed by People. At 45, Taylor has made this commitment as part of a personal journey toward healing and stability. In a touching Instagram post featuring his three-year-old son, Cruz, whom he shares with ex-wife Brittany Cartwright, Taylor wrote, Working on getting better for you, buddy. I love you, emphasizing his motivation to improve for his son's sake. The post received an outpouring of support from fans and friends, including well wishes from Jerry O'Connell and Kim Zolciak Bierman. A representative for the Valley, where Taylor is receiving treatment, shared that he made the decision to seek help during a particularly sensitive time for him and his family. The spokesperson highlighted Taylor's openness about his mental health journey and requested privacy as he continues his treatment. Following their separation in February, Taylor and Cartwright remain committed to co-parenting, with both involved in Cruz's life. Taylor's story underscores the importance of mental health awareness and the role of community support in personal recovery journeys.